In this video, we will be studying about the classification of oligopoly. Number one is your perfect versus imperfect oligopoly. See your perfect oligopoly is if the firm produce homogeneous homogeneous products then it is the perfect oligopoly <clears throat> if the firm produce differentiated products then it is the imperfect oligopoly here we can have the example of automobiles industry Here we can have the example of cement industry. See, the cement is the same product, a homogeneous product. There, there is no difference in the cement. Cement you will get the same, but there are brands, they have done their branding so good that you want the cement of Lafarge only, you want uh, JK cement only. That is the branding of the product, but they are selling the homogeneous product. And there are few sellers in the market. Imperfect competition you have in the automobiles industry. Let's say of Maruti, Ford, Fiat. They have they are selling the product that is your car, the, your automobile. But they're selling the different differentiated product. The Sears is different. Your, your Ford Figo is different, right? So this is the uh, classification of perfect versus imperfect oligopoly. The second difference we have is the Collusive versus non collusive oligopoly. What is the collusive oligopoly? It is a form of the market in which there are few firms in the market and all decide to avoid competition. All firms decide to avoid competition. through a formal agreement they collude to form a cartel they form cartels I told you what are cartels cartel and fix for themselves output quotas and the market price and in this output quotas and market prices are fixed sometimes a leading firm in the market is accepted by the cartel as the price leader so the member of the cartel choose the price as that fixed by the price leader so i gave you an example of the petrol countries what they have done is they form the cartel that they will sell the petrol at rupees 100 per barrel only so with this they have avoided the competition they have uh, come in, up into a formal agreement they have decided the quotas in the market price they are fixed so the this is the collusive oligopoly this is the type of market in which there are few firms in the market and each firm to pursue its price and output policy independently of the rival firm. In this, the firms try to compete with each other. They form their independent 
output and price policy each firm tries to increase the market share through their competition competition is preferred to collusive as a means of profit maximization right so the motive is the profit maximization So under collusive oligopoly, they avoid the competition, whereas under non-collusive oligopoly, the firm try to compete with each other. I hope you've completely understood the classification of oligopoly. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.